إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مدل له وما يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما الرجال كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الذي تساءلون به والأرهام إن الله كان عليكم ركيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله وكلوا كول سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوز عظيم أما بعد فإن أستك الحديث كتاب الله وخير هدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر أمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة Verily all the praise and all of the thanks and all of the magnification and all of our dedication should be only for Allah Ta'ala. And I publicly, I inwardly, and I outwardly attest and profess without any compulsion or without any coercion that there is nothing that is worthy of worship except for Rabbul Izza. And I bear witness that Abu Qasim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last and final messenger sent to guide mankind from the darkness into the light. Ya akhwati fillah, ya akhwati fillah. During the last few weeks, I've been having many discussions with many different brothers about the institution of something which is very revered in our religion, but I don't think we really fully comprehended it or understood it. The issue of what is known as Al-Akhuwa Al-Imaniya, the Islamic Brotherhood based on Iman. And this is in the light of the cost of brotherhood. The cost of brotherhood. It should be, Ya Ikhwan, something which is free, but we find, Ya Ikhwan, that sometimes it's very expensive. And this is through the eyes of a convert. Someone who embraced Islam more than 33 years ago and all the situations that I've been through, probably being out of all the khatibs that come on this membar, there's no doubt about it, Yahweh, and I have the most diverse lineage, ethnicity out of everybody. I have Irish, I have German, I have some English in me, I have some Dutch in me, I have some Jamaican in me, I have some Seminole blood in me, some Cherokee blood, some Anajishnabi blood in me, Yahwan. So I say this through the spectrum, Yahwan, of what makes me your brother in Islam is my statement, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Al Muslim, Akhul Muslim. That a Muslim is the brother of another Muslim. This is what our religion teaches us. And Yahwan, like we said before, this is something that should be for free brotherhood, 
But ya ikhwan, we find that it is ghali. We find ya ikhwan that it is thamin. It is expensive. So ya ikhwan, looking at this situation ya ikhwan, there are the elites in our religion, the exclusive people, the nobles, the aristocrats, the royals, the celebrities, the world class people, the upper class, the high society, these are all of our brothers that are Muslim. But also, Ya Ikhwan, there are the poor, the impoverished, the destitute, the needy, the underprivileged, and the poverty stricken Muslims. Those are our brothers as well. So, Ya Ikhwan, when you look at this situation, my dear brothers, having some thought, putting together the khutbah, when I think of all the different ethnic restaurants that I personally have went and taken my money and went to different Muslim brothers from different backgrounds and spent my hard-earned money to support my Muslim brothers, Ya Ikhwan, I must say, I probably spent at least over the last 33 years more than $50,000 visiting my Muslim brother's restaurant. And sometimes when I go there, Ya Ikhwan, I give the salams, and I don't get the salams back. The cost of brotherhood is expensive, Ya Ikhwan. Ya Ikhwan, I've went to bookstores. I've went to stores where they sell thobes and kufis. I went to many different Muslim stores, stores that have perfume. And I purchased products from the Muslim brothers. And when you leave and you say, Assalamu alaikum, you know, at least if they would have said, Allah yadik, that would have been good for me. But they said, Ma salam. As if I'm not a Muslim. So we look at the situation, my dear brothers. I have been Muslim first from day one, but I found, ya ikhwan, that I've been a second class citizen amongst the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sometimes, ya ikhwan, I don't feel that I'm loved amongst the brothers. This is a real story, ya ikhwan. And I'm not the only convert that has been going through this, ya ikhwan. Sometimes I walk into the masjids, I say the salams, and I get blanked. I don't get the salams back. Which is Fard, chapter 4, verse 86. Many times, the looks that I have been given or gotten by Muslim brothers because I'm not from their ethnicity is less than welcoming, ya ikhwan. I don't speak their lahja. I don't have their accent. I don't look like them. I don't walk like them. I don't talk like them. I don't think like them, ya ikhwan. But I'm still Muslim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Sometimes, Ya Ikhwan, I felt overlooked, I felt ignored, I've not been treated like a brother in all sense. And many times, Ya Ikhwan, I've heard people say, Who are Ajnabi? Who are Ajnabi? He's a foreigner. He's an outsider. Imagine, my lineage goes back 20,000 years in my native lineages to this country, Ya Ikhwan. And the Muslims are calling me an Ajnabi. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةً إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةً إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةً This is the call that Allah Azza wa Jal is calling us to. So when we said, Ya Ikhwan, that brotherhood, it is expensive, Ya Ikhwan. But listen to the words of Rabbul Izza after I say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ وَرَحْمَانِ الرَّحِيمِ You can't buy brotherhood. Call Allah Ta'ala. وَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِهِمْ لَوْ أَنْفَقْتَ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا مَا أَلَفْتَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِهِمْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهِ أَلَّفَ بَيْنَهُمْ إِنَّهُ عَزِيزٌ حَكِيمٌ You can't buy brotherhood, Ya Ikhwan. You can't buy it. You can't buy brotherhood. Call Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala goes on to say, And He, Rabbul Izzah, He brought their hearts together. Had you spent all the riches on the earth, you could not have united the hearts, but Allah has united them. And there's a sad story, Ya Ikhwan. I got to tell a couple of stories here for you brothers to feel the pain. To feel the pain. When I was in Egypt 23 years ago, Ya Ikhwan, I don't usually tell my stories, but it's time to start telling the stories, Ya Ikhwan. While I was in Egypt, I was in McDonald's talking to some youth in English, and the Amr al-Dawla, they came and they arrested me for no reason. For no reason at all. I was just talking to some Egyptian-American kids about basketball and a bunch of other stuff. They sent 10 deep to come and get me, Ya Ikhwan. While I was there, Ya Ikhwan, I was put in detention. And alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, after a while I was let out. These are from the sacrifices. Going to a Muslim country to learn Islam 
and the Muslims, they threw me in jail. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And because I had a big blue passport from the Nasara, the lands of the Nasara, I was able to walk scave three, walillahi alham. The situation, ya ikhwani, gets worse than that. While I was in Egypt, there's some food there, ya ikhwani, it doesn't agree with me, and I don't agree with it, but some of the food is good, walillahi alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. I ate full mudambis, and I became a fool, and after a while I got ishal almost every day, ya ikhwan. while I'm suffering, trying to learn the religion, ya ikhwan. While I was in the city of Tanta, something came over the night one time, a big bug came and it bit me. And I felt the bite, but I didn't know what it was. Couple days later, Yahwan, I'm in bed almost dying with sweat and fever and headaches. I talked to a brother a couple years later, he said, Akhi, you got malaria, brother. You got malaria. And alhamdulillah, you didn't die. When I came back to the city of Toronto, I was asked to give a little talk. And while I was giving a little talk, one of my brothers, that used to be a good brother of mine. He came to me and he said something that hurt me very much, brothers. He said, Akhi, just because you gave one lecture, don't let it get to your head. Not knowing the suffering that we as new Muslims we went through, leaving our family, leaving our children, traveling to the land of milk and honey in the Muslim world, going through all of that, and then the Muslims come back because you're trying to call to Allah, and then they try to take a shot at you, ya ikhwan. Brotherhood is a serious thing. وَقَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبِّ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرُّقُوا وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا These are not my words, ya ikhwan. Allah told us to hold firmly to the rope of Allah and to not be divided. Remember Allah's ni'mah, His favor upon you. When you were enemies, then He united your hearts. By, the, by his grace, and you became something called brothers. So with that story, brothers, is another story that a friend of mine, Sudanese brother, he said it on a podcast. One of the most beautiful brothers that I've ever met in my life. Wallah, ya ikhwan, he has beautiful akhlaq. When I see that brother and I compare myself to him, I think I'm not even a good Muslim. This brother was given the khutbah just a few weeks ago about the circumstances and the problems that are happening in his homeland, a Sudan, where some of the darker Arab brothers are. And a Muslim brother came to him and said to him, Akhi, why did you give the khutbah about Sudan? You've now taken the focus of the community off of a particular land and focused it now on the land of your people. The brother was so hurt by those words. He said, Akhi, I have family too dying in Sudan. And all of them are precious to me. Imagine a Muslim coming to you and saying, you've taken the focus of the ummah. Every Muslim in every land, they're my brothers. If they were purple, black, white, orange, green, polka dot, it don't matter. The Muslim, they say, la ilaha, they put their head on the ground, they worship Allah. Those are my brothers. The brother was so hurt by it that a brother would say to him, basically, that y'all people aren't as important as those people over there. So when we look at the situation, my dear brothers, we have some work to do. The khutbah is called Ni'matun al-Akhuwa. Innam al-Mu'minun al-Ikhwa al-Muslim akhul muslim Ahamiyatuha wa adabuha wa haquqiha. Ya ikhwan, it is about the importance of the mannerisms and the rights of the Muslim. And the Prophet went on to say, Ya ikhwan, La tadkhulu al-jannata hatta tu'minu wa la tu'minu hatta tahabu. The Prophet went on to say that you will not enter into the paradise until you love one another. And you will not love one another until you say and practice love. Love is an action word, ya ikhwan. If you brothers, you say, Akhi, I love you, mashallah, I love you too. If I tell my wife I love her, oh baby, I love you, baby, I love you. She's going to say, well, did you take me out for dinner? Did you buy me some new clothes? Did you buy me some new jewelry? She wants to see some money spent, ya ikhwan. Showing that my words and my actions are the same, ya ikhwan. Love is an action word. When you go to give musahafa to your brother, and he is like, nah, brother, it's okay. Sahiya, you got a cold? No, I don't got a cold. 
brother, I, I, you got some COVID uh, type of restrictions or something like that? No. Brother, well, I want to shake your hand. No, no, I don't want to shake hands, brother. Why? Okay, the Prophet said that when you shake your hand to give musahafa, something very unique happens, ya akhwan. It's called sins dropping from the sinners. When you shake your brother's hands, as the Prophet said, no, no, I don't want to shake your hand, brother. Okay, how about a fist bump, brother? No, no, I don't want a fist bump, brother. That's not from my culture. Well, hold on, Nahi. You left from your Muslim country to come over here, and you got on your head the Toronto Maple Leafs or the Toronto Raptors. That's from your culture? So your culture is good, you change it whenever you want. So, yeah, while well, looking at the situation, the Sheikh he went on to say in his book, Ma'nahu la yakmulul imanakum wala yuslihu halakum fil iman illa bittihad. That, yeah, well, that our iman will not be complete, nor will the rectification, our situation, and our um, bringing things together will not be complete, our iman will not be complete, until we really love one another, yeah. This is something, Yahwan, that we need to think about. And the topic of love and hate is something that, and even in this society, some people they say, I love you. Some people they say, I hate you. And there's, in this society, we have something called haters. People that wake up in the morning and in the night and they hate on you, they hate on you, they hate on you, they hate on you, speak bad about you, talk bad about you, even maybe make dua against you, wish you wrong. I'm looking for the lovers. I'm looking for those people that love me and I love them for the sake of Allah. As the Prophet went on to say, عَوْثَقَ الْعُرُ الْإِيمَانِ الْمُوَلَاتُ فِي اللَّهِ وَمُعَادَاتَ فِي اللَّهِ وَحُبَّ فِي اللَّهِ وَبُغْدِ فِي اللَّهِ Another riwayah, Azza wa Jal. From the strongest, firmest handhold is that you have love and loyalty and you have enmity. You love only for Allah's sake and you hate only for Allah's sake. Not because someone drives a nicer car than you, or they're not as educated as you, or maybe their jild is not the same color as you, or they don't eat the proper spice in the right rice, just like you, or they don't eat the right bread like you, so you don't like them, or maybe they eat a little bit too many different types of spices and onions, so you don't like them, ya khwan. The person went on to say, La tu sahib ila mu'minan. Don't accompany anybody except the believer. The Prophet went on to say, Al-Mar'u, in another narration, Al-Rajlu ala dini ala khalili, fa yandur ahadukum min yukhal al uqam maqala, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That a man or person is on the religion of their friend. So look and see who your friends are. Do they love you? Do you love them? And a good friend of mine one time, he asked me a question, brothers, and you need to start asking brothers this question. It was the most powerful question that was asked to me probably in the last 33 years. This is how you got to look at your brothers. Watch their initial reaction when you ask this question. The brother asked me, he said, Akhi, do you mention my name, my name, when you make dua for me? Or do you just say, oh Allah, help the Muslimin or Muslim for Kulli Mekan, and that's it, my Akhi. If we're brothers and we talk all the time, and we talk about the deen, and we talk about the situation of the Muslims. Do you ask Rabbul Izzah to help me, brother, so-and-so, by name? I said, yes, Akhi, I do. He said, then you're my brother, my true brother. Yahweh, this is the situation. And I can remember, Yahweh, one time I was in a particular masjid, inshallah, before we sit down for Jilsa Istiraha. And there was a particular masjid with a particular ethnicity. And there was one brother who used to come to that masjid. He was not from that ethnicity. And he passed away. And there was one brother that became a good friend with him from two different ethnicities. So he said to the brothers from the same ethnicity, did you know that brother so-and-so passed away, brother Ahmed? I said, who's brother Ahmed? Who's brother Ahmed? Who, who's that? They said, do you remember a sheikh, Falan so-and-so used to sit here right behind the Mu'adhin. He was right beside the Mu'adhin. And he was there, they're thinking, oh yes, brother so-and-so from the, oh yeah, what's his name? Ahmed. The brother prayed in that masjid for 20 years. And the Muslims from the different ethnicity that dominated the masjid did not know the name of the brother that prayed Fajr and Isha together with them, Yahwa, because he was not from their home. Brotherhood is expensive.
الحمد لله حمد كثير طيب مبارك فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى Brotherhood is expensive brothers Brotherhood it is expensive and many years ago ya khwan I sat at the feet of one of my sheikhs may Allah have mercy upon him rahimahullah and we had so many lessons that we learned from him ya khwan and he taught us the lesson if you were to ask the Muslim brothers, what is brotherhood? And they're going to tell you this hadith. لَا يُؤْمِنُوا أَحَدَكُمْ حَتَّى يُحِبَّ لِأَخِيهِ مَا يُحِبُّ لِنَفْسِهِ We all know this hadith. That you will not have iman until you love your, for your brother what you love for yourself. This is ground zero, brothers. There's something below that and there's something above that which is not taught, which is not studied, which is not practiced. From amongst the things that are below that, Yahwan, is the situation of what is known as Araf al adha taking your harm away from the Muslims, away from your brothers, away from your sisters. Removing harm, Yahwan. That means don't come to the masjid smelling like tobacco. Don't come to the masjid smelling like garlic and onions, Yahwan, as the hadith says. Removing your harm from the Muslims, Yahwan. What about racism? What about racism? I'd rather have somebody blow garlic in my face than not return my salam, Yahwan, because I'm not from their ethnicity. I'd rather somebody blow tobacco in my face and at least give me the salams than to not get the salams. And the thing which is above it, Yahwan, the highest level of brotherhood, which we need to be practicing, and inshallah ta'ala, maybe Allah will allow us to maybe one day reach that level which the Sahaba and the Tabi'een they did is called Al-Ithar. Preference for your brother. So basically you go to a restaurant and you don't have a lot of money but you buy him a nice steak and you ate a mistake. You have a little small piece of steak but you give that to your brother because you love him more. Yeah, when you take him to a better restaurant. Loving for your brother what you love for yourself is you take him out and you both get the same sandwich. So we find, Yahwan, that brotherhood, it costs. So the question comes now, brothers. How are we moving forward? We have to give each other nasiha. We have to give what is called qubul al We have to accept the excuses of our brothers from time to time. One of the main things the Sheikh said in his book I was reading, Adaf and al-akh fil ghibah. That you defend your brother when people are making ghibah about him. Ifsha al salam. Spreading the salams. Qabl al qalam. Hey, Aki, what's happening, brother? MashaAllah, how are you doing, brother? Aki, start with the salams, brother. We mentioned musahafa and tahadu tahabu. Give each other's gifts. Kullu Muslim ala Muslim haram. Dammahu wa irduhu wa maluhu. Muslims are still killing Muslims around the world, Yahweh. Not in the Muslim countries, I'm not talking about that. What is political strife? I'm talking right here in the city of Toronto, Yahweh. Muslims are fighting over drug turf, killing each other for drugs and property that they don't even own. They don't own it. They don't have residential property, but they're fighting over things that are frivolous. So it shows you, Yahweh, the hurma, the sanctity of the Muslim, Yahweh, is something that I myself need to go back and review. And I encourage my brothers because brotherhood is supposed to be thicker than brother. Thicker than blood, Yahwan. Brotherhood is supposed to be thicker than blood. I have cousins and families, but there's no one that's like my brother right here. I've traveled with my brother. We've eaten together. We've helped each other go through all types of things in life. But my brother there, sometimes he's been my psychiatrist, Yahwan. Because sometimes, Yahwan, the Muslims have done me some dirt, and the brother keeps me sane. You need good brothers around you to advise you, my dear brothers. With that, we ask Allah to make us better Muslims to make us people who love each other for the sake of Allah, to make, people, to make us people who fear Allah in secret and in the open, ya ikhwan. And we ask Allah to help us to be true followers of the Nabi Sallallahu and to have the brotherhood of the Sahaba of Ridwan Allahi Majma'in. With that, aqeem as-salat wa rihamakullah alahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim fil ala Ameen inakum ajeed. Ma let my brother lead the salat. Barakallahu fiqh.
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله، أشهد أن محمد رسول الله، حي على الصلاة، حي على الفلاح، قامت الصلاة، قامت الصلاة، الله أكبر، الله أكبر، لا إله إلا الله. استو مستقيم ويرحمة الله. الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فأنساهم أنفسهم أولئك هم الفاسقون لا يستوي أصحاب النار وأصحاب الجنة أصحاب الجنة هم الفائزون لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون الله أكبر يا الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم الله أكبر <تصفيق> الله لمن حمده الله أكبر 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله